Good morning, 47. We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. talking about i was just at the security station watching the feeds there's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage he wears like a 3d printed mask oh yeah that must be bird Ezra Berg, legendary Mossad operative who specializes in chemical interrogation techniques, is here at the compound to interrogate a prisoner. My notes indicate he's set up a makeshift drug lab in a garage, and it looks like he's spending a lot of his time in the basement. Could be an opportunity there, 47. Good to go.
change. Hmm. Charge is too weak. Mix another batch of gel. This time, add another 5% of nitroglycerin. Sure thing, sure. I need the mixture to be precise. The contents of the safe cannot be damaged. When you're done, text me. And I'll come by and text you back. Okay, let's see. Okay, that was nothing. Back to your stations. Fascinating. According to the blueprint, Sean Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. The charge appears to be email triggered. The unassuming target checks his messages, the virus triggers the charge, and boom. Very clever, not to mention devious. The resident hackers have installed the software trigger on one of their phones, and here is the punchline. Rose himself wears a Link 4. Good night's sleep. It's the thing we're all dreaming of during the day. And now, the Ether Corporation presents the Eye of Sleeping Bill. Layers after layers after layers of sleep. Pull it over yourself like a blanket. And off. the Eye of Onion Sleeping Bill. You never have to wake up again. I've only got two hands, Bob. I can't work much faster. Oh, 
you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Ah, uh, it was a thing of beauty. You're trespassing. Please turn around, sir. That's good, sir. Keep walking. There's nothing here. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point, point man in the Mexico Fire. operation. Go huh. check on Burgess. Got clipped Burgess. by a ram or something? As the team the trains with a battery them, ram to simulate an attack on separate territories. Motor I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his we'll ass. Do. You Nine want out of ten here. accidents happen but in the hole. Rose? They do say that. No. Anyway, the guy was lucky. So Sprained his ankle, that's all. Team. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get... A battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess. And according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Rid of Rose without the boss knowing. I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. <laughs> I like your thinking. Tell Park. Body, eh, man? It'll make her day. You know, I've spent all the significant moments of my life. I sometimes feel like he's my best friend in the world. Hey, just for what? No, it's more than a weapon. It's a relationship. So, you got your ex-military, your mercenaries. I saw a couple of, uh, cicada guys arrive. Then... Hey, Burgess. How you doing, man? <sighs> oh, what can I say? I'm a bloody idiot. And what happened out there? I've got tinnitus in my left ear, so I was wearing ear defenders, and I didn't hear the warning whistle. Turns out I was standing in the path of the ram. Lucky the damn thing only clipped me. Could have squashed me against the car. All I have is a sprained ankle. Man, are you sure you're up for this? Rose already talks about replacing you. I am the best point man on the team. I can shoot Torres and everyone in that car between the eyes in 4.03 seconds. I'd like to see him try. No, I don't. This is a dangerous operation, even more so than Thomas Cross. We need our best men on this. Oh, you're making me blush. Look, don't worry, I'll be fine. I'm just waiting for the meds to kick in. Okay, listen guys, I appreciate your dedication. But please, you can talk to me about some alone time. I've got a focus, and it is... Well, it's not going to be an option, okay?
security for Olivia Hall on the Hanson Oil operation. She's you know, I've been asking her. At school, they always talk to her. Hello, sir. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride. That's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. people let's get to it Burgess is back we're finally ready to make this happen I expect you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out! overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this off sleeping. Nice. Parvati won't know what hit her. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. Oh, shit! Yeah, Central, it's me. I'm at the scene and ready to go to work. Over and out. Farm life, huh?
So I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Those were some seriously hard people. I'm beginning to see how she got so rough around the edges. That's only half of it. She was raped by me. Well done, 47. When Rose comes back, he's in for an explosive surprise. and let them know the breach charge is set and ready for it.
Okay, everyone step back. Fire in the hole. We're under attack. Get moving. I'm on your six. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. We got an explosion. Moving in. Affirmative. C2, this is Alpha 1 Actual. I've arrived at location and it looks clear. Over. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody could switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. But hey, it'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear you. I just found out that Pavati was a Tamil tiger. Those were some seriously hard people. I'm beginning to see how she got the rough on the edge. According to Graves' ledger on Sean Rose, he is hypersensitive to the effects of drugs, in particular, hallucinogens. Last time he tried, it triggered a nasty psychotic episode, channeling his fear of germs. Interestingly, the ledger also contains a record of his most recent OCD attacks. Desk, grandfather clock, and faucet. Hmm. I'm in dire need of some private time right here, right now. Could you leave me alone? I'd really like to be alone right now, thanks. Look, don't take this the wrong way, but could you please get the F out?
to step back a few steps, sir. Just cross your fingers that the damn thing doesn't fail again. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He's mad as hell when he's to Just in the bar, should have thought about the new day shoes and there were things nowhere. Of course we've got some crap out here. We barely haven't got plumbing. So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Put a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. What's wrong with you? Almost game time. Uh, you uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? Penelope Graves. We need to talk. You're... Uh... What is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Sorry, man. You need to get the right clearance. Can't let you through. Okay.
Okay, that did it. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? <laughs> what do you want? You're very intense, you know that? And you need a breath mint. Hello, recruit. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. You are 5 by 5, Richard Big, coming. Don't let this get to you, man. Calm and smile. Calm and smile. That's so broken. Hey, no, 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 no! That is Ezra Berg, <gasps> former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47.
Command, I've arrived at the location and it looks clear. Back to smoking and joking. Over. If you did this, you better tell me right now, mister. To report from my no, 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 no. Over. You gotta help whoever stands in our way. Command, the garden area is clear. Over. Whoa. Please acknowledge. We found a lifeless body. Command, I've arrived at the location and it looks clear. Back to smoking and joking. Over. Hey, check up on the nitroglycerin. We need to make sure we got more than enough. We're all good. All right. Oh, you think there's anything missing? I got it. Thank you. Uh, you great. Uh, Ezra Berg's interrogation mask? That's what it does. It's a 3D printer. It prints things in, wait for it, three dimensions. I know what it does. I just have a hard time grasping it. Could we print out our own weapons? Sure. Maybe a small town. Hello, recruit. Who? The guy.
Yeah, so Rose is building an explosive battery unit for a Link 4 smartwatch. All right, for the next target. It's this Devereaux guy? Right. But Rose wants to control the time of detonation, so I designed this software trigger. Works by email. Devereaux checks it. The virus infects the watch. Hmm. Well, that is hardcore. Man, these people don't piss about. Yeah, well, still beast work you never met. What's going on here? So annoying. It was nothing. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer.
some kind of network. Power players from all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross, Klaus Strandberg, Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. <laughs>